Since completing my Fun Will ST build, I've been getting out as much as I can to enjoy this bad boy. Unfortunately, there's always room for improvement. And one of the topics that I didn't cover in great depth in my build video is the battery system. Today I'm going to talk about why that was intentional and we're going to improve that aspect of my Fun Will build. So let's get to it. The battery solution for my Fun Will ST is not quite ideal. It's what you'd call unconventional. As a cost saving measure, I used RC hobby batteries, which were left over from my DIY one wheel project. It's unconventional to use prismatic lithium cells in a PEV application for at least two reasons that I can think of. Firstly, the lithium polymer cells are less energy dense than cylindrical cells. And secondly, they are more volatile. But you can see here, the primary issue I have is cell balancing. You can see that across the three packs, we've got cells at differing levels of charge. That is something that I'm gonna try and address with this passive battery monitoring system from Flipsky. All the time that I've spent riding my Funwheel ST to date has been on a board without a BMS. And that is another reason why I didn't cover this particular aspect of my Fun Wheel ST in the build video. This is not recommended and is at least in part the reason why one of these battery packs is not like the other. So as I show you what's included with the BMS, a quick overview of what this product actually does. This is a charge only passive battery monitoring system, which means that during charging, if any cells are overcharged, it will passively balance these cells down to the appropriate voltage by dissipating excess charge as heat. This functionality protects all of the cells in your battery from overcharging. Also, by ensuring all cells are in an equal state of charge or voltage, you are able to draw the maximal amount of energy out of your battery before having to recharge. This device ultimately sits between your charger and your battery pack to protect it and balance it. The device is supplied with XT60 battery and charge port connectors. So in my case, the first thing I did was change over to XT30 plugs, which is what I'm using for the charge connections in my fun wheel. The next step is to figure out how I'm gonna connect my three battery packs to the two balance ports of this BMS, which supports up to 24 cells in series. I have these seven pin receptacles, which will connect to the balance plugs on my battery packs, and the other ends will be soldered to the included balance harnesses. The unused balance wires are capped and final voltage checks are done to ensure all the balance leads are connected in the correct order. The instructions prescribe which connections need to be made in what order. So after doing this, we can then connect the charger and verify the over temperature shutoff works. There we go. Turned off, it's connected, but it's not charging. With the battery approaching a complete state of charge, we can begin to see the status LEDs turn on, which indicates which cells are balancing. At this point, the charger is indicating that the charge cycle is complete, but we can still see the BMS dissipating a bit of energy from a number of cells. This is because the charger is still supplying a minute amount of current, and herein lies the problem with this BMS. If you disconnect your charger from your battery too quickly after completing a charge, you don't give this device an opportunity to balance your cells. So you may still end up with a battery that has cell voltage drift over a period of time. And if you leave the charger connected too long, you're generating excess heat in your battery compartment through the BMS bleeding off that extra energy. Not having any functionality to actively balance your battery as you ride nor having any functionality to remotely view cell voltages makes this product hard to recommend. But if you understand how to use it, it's perfect at what it does. Anyway, let's get to riding, hey?
Thanks for watching today, guys. I'd really appreciate if you give this video a like if you enjoyed it and a subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content in the future. Catch you later. Bye.